Hi everyone, so in this video you will learn how you can use font awesome unicodes in your HTML file and in your CSS file. So let's search for some icon. Let's go with this hand. And we'll go for the free because we are very poor. We can't afford the paid version. So let's copy this and create one H1 element. Let's make it hello world. If you don't know how to add font awesome to your HTML file, please check out my previous video. Link will be in the video description. Now let's paste that thing here and here. Great. Now just save it, open this file in the browser. So this is the output and there's one more way of getting same kind of output and that will be in the form of Unicode. I already copied it and it's time to comment this out and let's create h1 element again make it same hello world great and we'll have the i tag here like this and here we'll paste the unicode and in front of it you need to put three things first will be ampersand then hash and then if I'm not wrong, it is X. At the end, you have to put one colon. And here, you need to add a class. And that class will be FA, means font awesome. Now, just save it, go to browser, and this is your output. If I'll remove this class, you will not see this kind of output. You will get this kind of a weird square. Now let's copy this and paste it here save it and this is a output personally from my past experience you will never use these unicodes in your file like this you will use it with a css file so just comment this out and see how we can use with css file and in the css file we'll make use of pseudo elements before and after to get the same output so again let's have h1 element same hello world now let's go to this style sheet in this style sheet we'll make use of before and after pseudo elements and this is very important part because we need to define a font family here so let's make it font awesome free file okay Sorry, it should be five free, not free five. Now we'll make use of content property here. And we need that Unicode. Where is this fella? Here. And here we need a backward slash like this. Now we need some margin. First of all, let's see the output. Save it. And this is the output which we are getting. And this is we are getting by using this thing. If you want some margin here and here, we can make use of pseudo elements again here and make it margin right. Make it 5 pixel. Copy this here h1 after 5 pixel. And it should be left, not right. Save it. So this is the output. Let's change the color just for some fun. So make it red. So this is your output. And this is how you can use these unicodes in your CSS file with these pseudo elements. I hope you got the point how it actually works. See you in the next video. Have a nice day.